might do. So it is the back entrance to the bridgeway. Alright, so I was out in the front parking lot. Here's the back entrance, so there's parking back here as well. Alright guys, so I'm on Ferry Street right now. Oh, look at that. I wonder if that's Steven Tyler's boat. Wouldn't be surprised. Check it out right there, guys. Dream on. <laughs> I wonder if that's his boat. Possible. Right? That's the name of his song. Alright, guys. So, what I might do is turn around here. Hardly any traffic in this place. Alright, so there's the bridgeway. Now I'm on the right hand side of it. Check this out know, here. White, White Spurry Landing. Really nice. Very inviting. That looks very similar to John Olson's driveway. Or Yoon Olson. It's pronounced, I call him John, but it's Yoon. Check this out, guys. Really nice. Really nice. second video I'll upload part two but I want to try to only do a part one check that skeleton out guys here comes this kid again he's on a CBR looks like a 250 how you doing right there Sounds pretty good. Alright, check this out guys, right here. Skeleton right there. Skeleton pirate. <laughs> pretty cool. Captain Hook. He's only got one arm, so he's got a hook on the right hand. Alright, I'll give you a little tour. Back over the bridge. All right, there's two people getting ice cream now. All right, so this is Central Ave.
open up right now. Alright, there you go guys. Thank you. Dude. These people that live here, right? These homes, even though they may look like little shacks because of where they're situated, you know, a lot of them are million dollar homes just because they're situated right here. This little house here, little beach house, right? That's probably worth half a million dollars just because of where it's situated. Looks like the sun is really trying to break through the clouds. I would say that that person who lives there is Irish, definitely. for sale. So see that they can dock right here guys. Look at bring their boat up right to this little dock and then go right to their house. That is unbelievable. Talk about convenience. Right? All of these are private property. Nice one there. The plum colored house. Check out that wall. So this is a wall of rocks. Look at that guys. Wow. It's a huge wall of rocks with a little pathway between them. Alright, so this must go up and around. can't go up and around. If this was open, I would be able to. Oh, U.S. government property. See that, guys? No trespassing. U.S. government property. Close to public. Alright, so see that? It says... Let's just check that out right there. So this is the fourth cliff. Now, a lot of times this is open. So I'm not sure, maybe it's a security reason they've got it closed. But it says 4th Cliff, Air Force, Family Recreation Area, 66th Force Support Squadron, Hanscom Air Force Base Office Building 7. Alright, so... I guess people who are in the Air Force live in these homes here. Alright, U.S. Air Force installation, 
It is unlawful to enter this area without permission of the installation commander. While on this installation, all personnel and the property under their control are subject to search. Well, they're not going to find too much in my backpack, guys. They're going to find a Diet Pepsi, <laughs> some ice, and they're going to find some licorice. <laughs> all right. That's about all they're going to find in my backpack. All right, so we can't go through there. I'm just going to back up a little bit. It's a little sandy here. I've got my Nike Cortez on. Everything looks so different when you go the other way. Check out these wildflowers here, guys. Really nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Look at those white. Really beautiful. Look at that. Really nice. Got some sunflowers here. Check it out. Really nice. Some pretty wisteria. Not wisteria. Um, I'm not sure. I drawing a blank there. Really nice. Lavender. That's what it's called. Purple lavender right there. And then we've got some tomatoes and squash. I'm not sure what the price is. I think it says a dollar each. They're just selling them. kind of a lily, those white flowers. Alright, so I'm not sure how the wind's going to be here, guys. I'm not going to talk. Now, check all those homes out. If you notice, see now the water's going to come that way, so they build they build these houses up now on stilts. See, those are two are relatively new. I think I would have gone a little higher. And then they backfill all this rock in there. So I guess it just helps from, you know, dealing with flooding because if this floods and then the ocean floods, this whole road will be flooded. All right, guys. See, my bike's not starting. See that? It's not starting when I pull in the clutch. See that? I wonder what's going on there. So now I'm in first gear, so it should start if I pull in my clutch. It's not starting, so I'm going to put it in neutral. I wonder if I could get in. Let's go up this way, guys. I couldn't get in the other way. Let's see. Because this is a new camera, I don't know how many minutes each segment's going to be, you know? So we're going to find out. Alright, so they've got it blocked off here as well. A 
I'll give you a look from this end. Alright, so they've got some picnic tables here. So this is a cliff, guys, right here. It's called the fourth cliff. Alright, so we're definitely not getting in. We got a basketball hoop here. There's a little incline here, so it's really kind of hard to push off, but I've got these Nike Cortez on, and I'm telling you guys, the grip on these things is out of this world. My boots aren't ready yet. Got some Rosa Ragosa. Check out those window block boxes. Really nice. That's just enough. They're just enough, those little boxes. Alright, so this will give you a look. We're pretty high up right here, guys. 